If you're looking for some cool vibes and some great food, then you're going to want to put Catchy Shuby on your list. Today, we're checking out the new restaurant in Soho. Jamie, you are no stranger to cool venues. You opened Surf Lodge, Gold Bar, Kane in the Bahamas, and now we have Catchy Shuby in Soho. Tell me about what kind of restaurant this is. Well, the focus is always to create a venue that at its core was about warmth. We really wanted a place that was a sanctuary, a place where people could come uh, with their friends in larger groups and, and just enjoy the venue. Sean had a larger menu, more than he's ever done, like 50% vegetarian, but it was really this idea that we really wanted something for everyone. I love the decor in here. What inspired it? The idea that we could emulate nature, we could use a lot of wood, a lot of textures. And the materials, some of them are real, like that's actual tree bark? Yeah, so my wife and I, Joanne, actually peeled that off dead trees in upstate New York, and the artist built the shape of the tree, and then we actually just put the bark on the outside of the tree, so we wanted the tree to have realness to it. I've never heard of anybody doing that, that is very cool. What do you hope the experience that people have here is? You know, the dream was always to have people come to Catchy Shuby and not be able to explain it. It was a place where you could walk in and feel like you've never seen it before and it wasn't tied into anything geographical, but you felt like you were in the right place. Sean, it is so good to see you. So good to see you, Lauren. I have been hearing awesome things about the food here, so tell me all about the menu. Here at Catchy Shuby, we're trying to do something a little different than you see all around the neighborhood. You can come in here any day of the week have a different type of meal. You could have a great vegetarian meal, you could have a great steak or a piece of salmon, and just something that people enjoy. I love that. Now, what did you choose to bring out today? Here's the roast eggplant dish, which you're gonna love. It's a little bit of pomegranates, toasted hazelnuts, and pomegranate molasses. I could eat that every day and feel good about it. Are you finding that more people are coming in that are vegans or that are just excited to be able to have the options? I think they're excited to have the options. For instance, we have a beet tartare, which is super surprising because half the people who order it, they think it's beef tartare. And then they get it, they're like, wow, this is actually beets instead of beef and it's incredible. So you brought out a lot of other dishes as well. What is that one? That is the Korean chicken sando. It's a fried chicken sandwich with house-made kimchi pickles and a gochujang slaw. And there's curly fries. Curly fries are the best. I love this too because it's very different from everything on the table. Mm -hmm. This is probably the most unique dish on the menu. It's a uh, roasted mataki mushroom with a vegan coconut and mushroom dashi broth with some fresh made ramen noodles. Aside from like half the menu being vegan and vegetarian, there's a lot of gluten free items. So these are gluten free uh, ramen noodles. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we have the most basic of basic fishes, the salmon. Serving it in a creme fraiche dashi cream with smoked trout roe, top with a little batarga powder. That's excellent. I feel like I've never had what's accompanying the salmon. Right, we have a really cool cocktail program going on here. This is a so fine with vodka, passion fruit, and vanilla syrup. Sean, every bite today was delicious. The drinks are great. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much for coming. It's always great to see you. Cheers, likewise.